We're just a few weeks away from the launch of the Wii U, which means it's finally time to say goodbye to the Nintendo Wii. It's been an awesome ride, filled with great ideas, great controls, and great games, like this one. Part two of our countdown of the 25 greatest Wii games is officially under the knife. Okay, let's begin the operation. The patient's vitals are low. Please use the syringe to stabilize them. Trauma Center got its start as a great Nintendo DS game, so when the series was announced for Wii, a lot of people were skeptical. They thought direct touch would be necessary for a surgery simulator thing. But it turns out the game plays even better with the Wii Remote. New Blood is the second and best Trauma Center game for the Wii, a stunning display of the speed and accuracy offered by its remote. Where Trauma Center was a great example of what the Wii could offer from a control standpoint, these games are more of a metaphor for what Wii could offer conceptually. In an industry defined by varying shades of gray, the Wii provided a splash of color, a splash that was embodied by De Blob, a unique series that kind of mixes Mario 64 with Mario Paint. The De Blob series found a way to turn a traditional gaming concept like platforming into a coloring book. There's nothing more Wii than that. Now some may argue this game's too low on the list. I say its placement is a testament to the quality of the system's library, and to the evils of rubber banding. Nonetheless, in a multiplayer setting, very few Wii games, uh, or video games for that matter, can match what Mario Kart has to offer. The series again carried that torch on Wii, and it also became Nintendo's most ambitious attempt at online gaming to date. And plus, I can put myself in it. Oh my god, I am the winner! You know, in the past, if a massive spiked ball were rolling down a hill straight for Mario, if he couldn't jump over it, he was pretty much screwed. On the Wii, well, just switch the dimension and sidestep it. Spicing up the Paper Mario recipe with a dash of classic side-scrolling, Super Paper Mario is an RPG for platforming fans. It's funny, addictive, ingenious. And Peach can float. With only one North American home console release prior, this game was like a first impression for its series for some gamers. An impression that was something like, holy crap, Monster Hunter is freaking huge. A massive action game packed with even bigger enemies, tons of gameplay, and spectacular graphics, Monster Hunter Try is the kind of game developers made too rarely on Wii. One with genuine effort. Well done, Capcom. And well done you! Thanks for watching part two of our countdown, and be sure to come back for part three of our feature on the top 25 Wii games of all time.